so we are back in mafia definitive edition and we are about nah, to you got more time to sit on your ass get some revenge on who's the new guy on the radio i'm writing to tell you that and of my joy to hear that you'll be attending the of another Well, Find anything out. good? He's gonna nah, die. I'm watching you. Know, you. you don't lose your job, Daddy. I get it. I hate sitting around. Born as hell. If the boss says you're not ready to come out on collections, what can you do? Prohibition here to stay. President Herbert Hoover. Okay. Get with the problem. Get along. What do you think I gotta do to... It's not sister, uh, first collectible. Ah, uh, see. See? See. The bars are closed. For you, I'm afraid. Come back later. With Polly or Sam. Okay then, Luigi. Anyways, I got places to be. Okay, come through this way. I'll take you to Vinny first. Uh, He's a loud mouth, but Frank and Adon have known him since forever. What's he do? We go see him whenever we need to do any uh, heavy lifting. Can you make sure we're well healed for when there's trouble? Well, we're grateful for his dough, but we gotta go. Long drive back north. If the Don wants to do this again, we can move. The level of detail. Look at the walls. Madonna Vincenzo! Ciao, Polly! Oh, she's gonna sing! <laughs> Who's this then? Vinny, it's here's Tommy Angelo. We're doing a little job together. Alright, good, good. Hey, you just need bean shooters or ruts? Nah, we just need something to write off a few cars. Huh. Oh, I got just a thing. This classic should do the trick. <laughs> oh! If the bat don't work out for use, I got a few cocktails here. Ay, ay, ay. Careful with them, though. Don't want to burn off your short ears. <laughs> Good to meet you, Todd. Let me know if Paul gives you the hard time. I'll straighten them out. Just a minute, another collectible is right here on the shelf. Come back and see me later if the boys don't scare you away. I'll fix you no with a gap. Explicit magazines, I hope. You can look around, sure. But Martin leaves the room. Sure, there you are. I'm leaving. Ralphie's in the garage. He's a special kind of idiot, but he's got a way with cars. I don't get how this moron gets interested to burn. I'm telling you, it's like some kind of black magic. Hey, genius! <laughs> Get your head out of your ass! <laughs> what the fuck, dude? Papa Polly, you can't, 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 can't just sneak up on a guy like that. Uh, I'm sorry, Ralphie. I'm just busting your balls. <laughs> see, 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 you're still a little limping. Guess we got two, 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 two cripples working here. <laughs> we ain't nothing alike. You got that, Ralph? Sure, 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 sure Papa Polly. Yeah. Tommy. Tommy Angelo. G good to meet you. Like I said, Ralphie here is a crack deck. Well, you bring him a stolen car, he'll make it yours. Tom and me, we got a job to do. We need some wheels. How about this one, Papa Polly? It, it, it ain't a ha ha ha, Brad, but it, it'll get you across the, the, the town. All right, let's go. You're driving. And don't let me catch you loafing off again. One day I'm gonna cut your brake line, asshole. I don't know what Ralph's trying to pull giving us this motor. 
I want to show you something about the good life, and you're driving something my mom could have bought 20 years ago. If I know Ralph, he probably got it taken out of our yard. Yeah, the car's fine. It's good to get a change from the cab. You don't have to be nice about it. Stick a tin can. So, is that whiskey back there in the truck? Yep, new supplier. You guys deal in broad daylight? Normally, no. This was their first drop-off. And the cops know better than to come sniffing around our turf. Morello, the guy whose car is he gonna torch? He's got more friends on the force than us. But we're okay, as long as we're careful. An eye over our shoulder. Some of the Canadian whiskey that comes through, you want a bottle? Just ask. We'll keep some back for friends. Ah, I'm no big drinker. I used to tip back bathtub gin most days, but not so much now. That stuff's no good for you. You don't have to go blind now, though. To us, you got a line in the good stuff. Well, that's good of you. Thanks. Not just the booze we supply, Tom. It's the places we deliver to. The dames they got in these places. Best tables, best food, best skirt. Some way to live. Right now, all I want to do is wreck the day of the bastards who wrecked mine. Sure, sure. Besides, all this could get a guy in trouble. Trouble, says the guy who's about to send fire to Morello's parking lot. <laughs> I got you to protect me. It'll go fine. Well, if it don't go fine, try not to let him see your face. Either that, or you hit him so hard they don't remember it. Is that a blip? What is this? GTA 5? Get onto Morello's turf now. The There's some kind of line between his streets and Celieri's streets. Not really. There's always some give and some take. Though in general, we look after Little Italy, and his guys work North Park. And more besides. You're walking on the wrong sidewalk in a wrong part of town, you start getting a sense you need to be someplace else. You can feel it long before they start appearing on street corners to stare you down. Okay, it's close by. Morello's goons smoke and jaw up front and leave their motors out back. There's some lazy bastards. They put some gorilla on guard duty, but it's always some no-name schmuck. Come on, over here. You gotta sneak in and wreck the cars. Send a message. Sure. Why are you coming with? To see if you get shot. Kate, you go quiet. You know how to go quiet, right? Jobs. Yeah, like that. Yeah, he's got his name, guys. You'll get there someday. No one sees our heads. No one tries to pop them. Get over this gate and up onto their roof. I'm gonna keep their chump busy while you creep up and jump them from behind. Okay then. They're real good at distracting. It's my best thing. Ah, boss has plenty of guys in the city real pissed. Thanks and careful. Does that get the money on that? Ah, he's good for it. Hey! What the hell are you doing? What do you mean, what am I doing? I mean what I say. What the hell are you doing back there? Who are you? 
A guy who don't know what idiot told you to keep look out here. Dino. Dino told me. Dino? Salieri's got guys all over town trying to give Morello a black guy. And yeah. he just like that. I got it. A sleeper hole. Classic. I like it. Now let's get to these cars. Take your bat and start swinging. Oh, it's a middle mouse button. Okay. Uh, Come on, Tom. <laughs> We're up against it here. <laughs> oh, crap. <laughs> hey, get away from the car. Knock him down, Tom. What are you doing? Come on, Tom, quick! This is horrible. Use a mob to see some flames. Okay, so take out a bottle, light, and throw. Simple. I love the smell of burning paper. Old block heard that. We gotta go. We can take Dino's car. How'd you know this is Dino's car? I don't like you, and you got a good car? I'm gonna know where you keep it. Reports a burning vehicle and a strong fire at North and Park. Take it. It's right near Morello's place. Don't bring in the wrong people. Old ways are the best ways. Straight through the gate! We gotta get out of here before the bulls show! Don't let him get away! Drive! Come back! Why? Oh shit! We got cops! So, uh, what do we do? We lose them by driving real fast and getting clear of them. Sounds good. Right now they're pissed. But let's not get them real pissed. Stay out of sight till they lose interest. We're almost in the clear. Almost. We're good. Let's head back and see the boss. I thought Silieri had cops on the books. Some street cops, sure. But Morello's got the chief in his pocket. How'd it feel? Feel good? How'd what feel? Taking out the guy. Taking Dino's car. Feel good? Yeah. I guess it did. No time like the first time, Tom. Don't get better. You think it's for you? This life? What's it to you? Hey, I'm just asking questions. I like asking questions. I doubt that every day you and Sam go and panel beat motors in parking lots. Eh. Busy days, there's slow days. I've had more of an introduction than I ever got. You never got to beat up Dino's pals and take his motor? Nah, stole enough cars to get noticed, I guess. When I got squeezed by the cops, knew never to squeal. And one day I found myself in a yard behind a bar drawn with Vincenzo. Ten years go by and I'm still there. So, I got a suit now, and Vinny's an old bastard. <laughs> I always thought that to be in a family you had to have more connections. Your brother, or your uncle. Oh, some guys, sure. Your cousin got made, or you like Carlo, whose pop went way back with the Don. That means you get trusted more when you're starting out. There's plenty of us who came in off the street. I'm thinking we get you in front of the boss, then we tip a few. Well, 
I don't got plans, so... Sure you don't got plans. The plans are to feed Vinny so much booze that Luigi has to roll him out the door again. I'm good with whatever. <laughs> sure you are. So much dialogue in this game. Like, I can't even comment in. Well, what happened to the car I sent you out with? Dumped it. Well, why? It was a boiler. This one's better. A b -b better car with a b -b broken window? Fresh air never killed nobody. He has a point. Come on, Dalphy. Live a little. He's still with you then. Somehow, yeah. Hey, boss. It's done. No trouble? Yeah, nothing we couldn't handle, Mr. Salieri. Good, good. Sit down. You see Morello? Nah. But he'll be plenty pissed when his boys tell him what happened. <laughs> He's not going to be able to think straight for weeks. See? That's the difference between me and Morello. I'm a businessman. I do everything with this. Every decision I make, it's what's good for the business and my boys. But Morella is a hothead, and all of that anger burns out the brain. And when he gets mad, he gets stupid. You got nothing like that to worry about with Tommy here. He was aces the whole way, boss. I'm glad to hear it. I got a grown business here. We could use a guy like you to help out around the bar. Maybe run some errands, make sure the bills get paid on time. You up for that? Oh, it'd be an honor, sir. Good. Good. Now, Polly and Sam have already vouched for you, but you need to understand we have a few rules around here, so you listen and listen good. First, no cursing on the premises. There's a million words out there. And the man who needs to resort to fuck this and fuck that is just ignorant or lazy. Second, we don't deal in the hard stuff. I don't want any dope fiends in this neighborhood. We'll let Morella poison his own people if that's what he wants. Finally, stay out of trouble with the cops. We only have a few on the payroll. And if you cross the line, the rest will come after you. You understand? Yes, Mr. Salieri. Then I'm gonna only ask you for one more thing, Tommy. I don't keep Paulie and Sam around just because they're strong. A lot of guys out there bigger and tougher than these two. And I don't keep Frank on apparel because he's smart. Though he is an artist with the numbers. All these guys in this room, they're here because they have the only thing that matters to me. Loyalty. The only thing that should matter to any of us. You know what that is, Tommy? They're loyal. That's right. Now you stay straight with me, you're gonna be living the high life, Tom. But you abuse my trust. <sighs> Don Celieri, you won't ever need to worry about me. Okay then. Welcome to the family. Excellent. Now I'm starving. Luigi, let's see. Welcome. A barman Luigi is not much of a cook. But his daughter Sarah, Maron. Those first days in Celieri's bar were slow. I moved crates and delivered messages. The guys busted balls and told stories from the old country. Mostly, we just waited. I got to thinking, maybe life in Celieri's crew wasn't going to get me clipped. Come on. I've got what did I know? Finish off. 
You, Tommy? Come on, this yeah. In your time. Boss Get is back. waiting for you. Thanks. Ignora quell'idiota. Arrenditi. Ah, potrai combattere ancora. But I guess this is it with the Molotov thingy. I guess this is the new chapter. So, I think we'll be calling it a day with this video. I'll upload another video maybe today. Or I could get to Death Stranding because I want to complete chapter 5 too. There's only two missions left. One of which is smaller and the second one, the final one, which is a lot bigger. So I don't know if I would be able to complete it, complete both of them in today's time. Well, let's see. One thing we know now is that Tommy is, has become a member of this Salieri family in this game. So, kind of excited to see what missions lie in store. And, well, let's just hope that this next mission isn't the race one. The one where you have to win a race. I don't know. If... It's just that people who have played the previous version the old version I have deemed it so uncomfortably tough to you know complete that mission alone the rest are kinda okayish so yeah let's see but I am seriously loving this game they are about Minimal bugs and glitches there. About minimal frame rate drops too. As compared to Mafia 3 and Mafia Definitive Mafia 2 Definitive Edition. So yeah. Anyway, that's it for this episode. Keep liking, sharing and subscribing guys. And as always, stay safe, stay indoors and take care.